That raid is in the Dolphins. Ricky Williams coming off back-to-back 200-yard -back games. Rich Gannon, an NFL record, 10 300-yard passing games for a season, and that's coming in, TJ. Yeah, and realize that Gannon has had a clean jersey for about a month. First play of the game, Jason Taylor with a sack, ball out, Raiders would recover. Second play of the game, Jason Taylor around the corner on Barry Sims, ball comes out again, but he set the tone early for the day defensively and the Dolphins. Jason, three sacks for the day, an NFL high 17 for the year. First quarter tied at three, Jay Fiedler with the radar lock to Chris Chambers. 29 yards, Chambers, seven grabs, career high 138 yards. Same drive, third and goal, an Ivy Leaguer to an HBO analyst. <laughs> Ridiculous catch by Chris Carter, TJ. Classic Chris Carter catch. The one hand grab, pulls it in, gets the feet down, give thanks. 130 career touchdowns for C squared. Second quarter, Ricky Williams. That dog, he said outside, he gone. Watch the DB. <laughs> My bad. You know, Ricky had an off day time, only 101 yards. Mm -hmm. Same drive, Fiedler, hook it to Chambers, 29 yards. J-A-Y, the letters of his name, J-1, 21 of 37, 237. Same drive, second and goal, Travis Miner, silk, set, smooth. Touchdown, Miami up 17-3. Third quarter, Raiders down 17-6. Gannon hits Doug Jolly. From BYU. Best player ever to come out of BYU. <laughs> or so says Russell Baxter, our researcher. 25-yard drive, same drive, third and 10. Gannon sacked by Jay Williams. He was sacked five times. Oakland settled for a field goal, 17-9. Third quarter, next Raiders possession, Gannon. I told you he was the best player ever to come out of BYU. Gannon went 17-31, 204 yards. Leads 676 passes in the last two games to break Marino's record. Fourth quarter, Gannon. Half some, Jerry Porter. 23rd touchdown pass of the year for Rich. After two-point conversion, Raiders down 2017. Watch this play, TJ. Woo! I'm certain Patrick certain grabbed a one-handed interception. Can we see that again, Tom? You will not see a better play made by a DB turning around, spinning, focusing on the football, making sure he's got it under control before he hits the ground, protecting the football. Marvelous day by all the Miami DBs today. Career high, sixth interception of the year for Patrick Certain. Certain. Number 20. Number 23. That's all he is. <laughs> Dolphins win the game 23 to 17. After the game, Jason Taylor ran up to our Ann Word and said, Dog, you've got to interview me, Cat. Well, Stuart, one of the things the Miami Dolphins do so well is they make even great quarterbacks average when you play them here. Jason, it seemed like that first series, you came free on the first three plays, got two sacks, caused two fumbles. Did that get Gannon out of rhythm right off the start? Well, I think it could set a tone for the game. You know, it, you know, quarterbacks like to be comfortable in the pocket and sit back there and pick and choose the receivers. And, you know, we knew coming in he's hard to get to. He does a good job of getting rid of the football, but we also have a good secondary that likes to press. And, and uh, you know, they did first couple plays I got there and got a couple fumbles out and that you know obviously makes him a little jittery in the pocket and and uh, you know he has some happy feet and, and and hopefully we did enough today to to help preserve Dan's record we're not a zone team we want to get up in your face and uh, make them beat you and uh, that's what we did today they made plays they're a great offense those guys are Hall of Famers they're gonna make plays but we didn't allow the big play we held them to 17 points and uh, I was fortunate to come up with the key play at the end. Patrick, thanks a lot. Patrick Sertan, a game-clinching interception, taking the ball away from Jerry Rice. Back to you.